Hey everybody, we are wrapping up our second week of August, um, just coming out of Montana. And stick around a little bit longer, you'll hear us talk about our stay in Big Arm. We went to Lindbergh and spent a day with some friends from Colorado, Glacier National Park. We went to Helena, very short trip, and then on to Hardin where we visited Custer's Last Stand. So little Bighorn. Little Bighorn. Stick around and you'll hear how our week went. So we uh, made our way in from Spokane, Wa Spokane Washington, Spokane. Uh, the first day into uh, what we thought was going to be Rollins RV Park, uh, no, which was so in Rollins, Montana. Okay, sorry, you said we made our way into Spokane, but we no, left from. Spokane. Okay, sorry. And, and so we pulled into Rollins RV Park like, I don't know, six or seven or eight hours later. I don't know how long it was. It was, it was a long drive. four in the afternoon. Yeah, and so I went into the registration area and I'm like, hey, I'm here for my reservation. And she's like, well, your reservation's not for three more days. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? So, you know, we went back and forth and she's super nice about it. Um, but I must have just booked it for the wrong day. So uh, she was really nice and she got on the phone and she called like, I think pretty much every RV park that was in town to see if they had any availability. Uh, and the only one that did was uh, actually in Big Arm, which was 20, 20 minutes miles. back the way we had came. Uh, but it was a brand new RV park. It's run by a casino. Uh, and hmm. yeah. We like casino RV parks. There's a lot of casinos <laughs> in this area. That is, so Montana did have a lot of casinos and I was like. Yeah, but anyway, so we pulled in and it's kind of like, you could tell it was really new because they didn't it didn't feel like they really knew how to get us through the process. There was no sign either. Yeah, there's like, no where do you register? Well, there's where a sign you... to get turned, but there wasn't like a sign leading you to where you're supposed to register or no. anything like that. So anyway, the lady finally got us all figured out. We drove up to our spot. We backed it in. It was tight because I don't know if that park was really made for really large and I'm not super good at backing it in. Uh, we made some divots in there, brand new grass. And that way, yeah, it was a ditch. Yeah. And then we go to plug in everything. We go to plug in the power and the stupid, the receptacles in upside down. So, we, yeah, we can't plug in. Yeah, we couldn't plug in, so we called the maintenance guy. By the way, it's 105 degrees, so we needed yeah. AC. Oh, yeah, and we're cranky anyway because it's a long drive and wrong park and all this kind of stuff. So the maintenance guy comes and he turns it the right side up, but I'm like, okay, hold on, let me plug in my little tester thing. Because if it was the wrong way, I bet you it's not wired right either. It turns out it wasn't wired right. So we went through this all this rigmarole and blah, blah, blah. We ended up plugging into the 30 amps for the night. Um, but we were going to move sites anyway. It was a big hassle. Finally they, decided we were just going to stay there no matter what happened, and we did. They got somebody to come out and fix it the next day. It was a great park. They, they saw within 20 minutes of us being there, they saw that I had Oli, and they were fine with yeah. it. So that was cool. So that made the whole four days we were there a little bit easier so, so we, we had to hide we had views of flathead lake off in the distance the we were the very south very south tip yeah. of flathead lake by um polson polson we were in big arm yeah yep. so you know it was it was a marina so there was a bunch of boat not a bunch but enough boats docked and we could see off to the lake and it's it pretty The next day we drove over to your friends. So yeah, then we went into, I don't know exactly where it was. It was by Swan Lake, past Swan Lake in Montana. We think it's Lindbergh Lake, yeah. but it's like a private residence lake, but it's my friends from Colorado. Her parents have like a lake house there and they go every summer and it just happened that the week that they were there with all of their family was the week we were in Montana. So we spent the day at the lake, which was super fun. Yeah, they let and us get in their boat. They pulled the kids around on tubes. Did tubing, we did rope, well. Swing. The rope swing, the rope jumping, I didn't. I, so it was like Crater Lake, I'm like, I'm gonna do this. Because the water was cold, but not like Crater Lake. But then when we got there, I thought, yeah, I think I'm just gonna film them doing this. So I didn't go in. The water was so cold. So Be Bella Scout and I all did the swing. So you swing, you probably, the rope jumping. I don't know, 15 feet up in the air and then jump into the lake. It was pretty cool. Did tubing, that was funny. I was crying so hard because they're, the way they are, Bella was trying so hard to be prim and proper sitting there with her like legs crossed on because you have to sit well I can't show up but sit flat on this big tube and you have to have your legs out so she have her legs crossed and she's trying not to let the bumps bother her <laughs> when there was big bumps like legs are all over hands are all over she let they're laughing 
and they were laughing so hard than the looks on their face of fright. Uh, it was just funny. It was kind it of was fun, fun too because the the late the friend and yeah. and our kids went to like pre K with her kids. Yeah. And so Bella and Wes, Wes, who are now both probably thirteen, if they're not, thirteen, he's, close. he's in seventh grade. She's, yeah, yeah. But so like I don't know, nine years later, ten years later, something like that. We haven't. We ha they haven't been to school since the um, five years. Yeah, they're all, five years old. So yeah, they're like all on years. a lake in the middle of Montana, tubing together. They all had it's fun though. Fun. The yeah, kids all had fun, fun and it took them a while to get warmed up to each other. Yeah, but, but once they did, yeah. it's like. They were okay. out on the paddle board in the middle of the lake. I'm kind of watching them. Well, like, we, really? We hadn't even walked down. Wes. And <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Knock it off. <laughs> um, Scott was already in the water. We hadn't even like come down to the dock. We we're like, where's Scott? I'm like, oh, he's already in the lake. Um, but that was fun. I did something I've been telling Charlie this entire trip because I. As much as I like, when I was younger, I would have wanted to do all the rock jumping and cliff jumping, jump into Crater Lake and all these, like pull on one water ski. And then I don't know, I'm like 40, I'm 28. I don't know where that 40 came from, 28. And uh, <laughs> I just don't want to really do that anymore. I'd rather enjoy watching everybody else do it. But I've been telling him this whole trip, I would love to paddleboard. Cause to me, it's just a little bit more, I don't peaceful. know, laid back, peaceful. And it's just something I can do. So they had two paddle boards so me and Anna went out and she helped me figure out how to paddleboard, and I enjoyed it. It was cool. You, I mean, you could fall over in a split second, but I, I thought it was fun. I, I thought it was really hard. But well, he was. He carries was... out there like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. and I'm like, well, oh, I, do. Oh, oh, oh. I look. I'm like that stupid <laughs> balloon thingy on the side of the road, I was like trying to. You know. But I did. I looked over, and you're. Sh I couldn't. I mean, I almost fell twice. At well, least. and I know that. So I actually, the reason why he, when he looked over and I was just going real fast because I was trying to get away from him because if he <laughs> fell, I was going to fall because he would have run into me. Um, but it's fun. Her, her parents were great hosts. They had a huge lunch for us. They let us bring sugar and the chicken. They let us bring Oli. So oh, that was. family was nice. Oh yeah. So yeah. her sister and cousins and we met her cousins. They were literally, it's like, oh, you're just a part of the family today. Yeah. So that was fun. And we were there eight hours. And that was a fun day. It was exhausting, but it was relaxing at the same time. But it was fun to to see her. That yeah. was fun. So we did that. And then the next day, we went to Glacier National Park. And we did a driving tour of well, that one. But so while we were at the lake, oh, though, gosh. the haze started coming over the mountains. My eyes were burning. Yeah, I mean, it was, it bad. was bad. My nose. And then I think yeah. you looked on your phone and found out there was fires burning kind of to the south west of us yeah. and it was coming over the ridge so by the time we woke up the next morning well, even that night even at flathead lake you could hardly see the water and going up into you glacier could, the yeah. next day i mean it was just hazy everywhere we went that, that was heavy because there's again just like crater lake glacier national park is beautiful yeah. the mountains are beautiful the landscape is beautiful but it's so covered with haze you can't really what what pops at these places in the, is a bright blue sky and then the scenery mm -hmm. in the mountains and you had no you have it's just and even where we are now in north dakota it's just hazy yeah this is kind of high haze but it's just but everything i just i told him yesterday i'm like i need to yeah. see some blue sky because i'm starting to feel a little depressed and cranky so in glacier we uh drove up going to the sun road and uh which was cool. There's a couple of waterfalls. It was a super narrow road. We had, we had our oh, big truck was, in there. and We like, had to bring the mirrors in. Yeah, I mean, it was narrow. And sometimes wait. And not like it wasn't a dirt road. It was paved. Yeah, just, but when you have all the traffic coming, yeah. so sometimes you'd have to wait when we went around the curve because all the rocks from the mountains are sticking out. We did it. We saw cool waterfalls and then, you know, glacier and, you know, different things up that way. And then on the way back down, since we had uh, passed by it before, holy crap, that's, there's the frog. There's a froggy. Yeah, right over. Well, he's over. He's the one you guys abandoned. He's over there now. Anyway, we came back down because Lake McDonald was on the uh, on the side of the road. So on the way down, since we weren't able to see a whole lot going up, we decided to stop at the lake. Uh, and mm -hmm. you know that was, that was, this is a gorgeous lake. I mean, Crystal super clear. clear. Um, it had that white sand, so the super blue like crater it has, like, was. It has and, like a turquoise color, and the yeah. ranger said it's because the silt um, coming down from the, gla the glaciers it reflects, and that's what color it is. But no, that was no, it was fun. And so um, everybody on the Western Hemisphere was at Glacier National Park that day. The visitor centers 
both visitor centers we went to there packed. just packed crazy, which is cool. Scout and Bella learned about grizzly bears. They had the grizzly bear skin, and the ranger did a talk on that, and they got their badges. Like his sixth or seventh, I think, is Scout's. Yeah, yeah. so Bella got hers too. So, I mean, yeah. that was fun. It was, um, that was a good day. The days where you can take the animals are fun because yeah. you don't have to rush back. And so we had two days in a row. So our animals were pretty tired by now. But I think it's another place that we just didn't even no. kind of get to see even a bit of you know what it probably really is and so Montana's you know beautiful. Oregon so far Oregon Washington Montana probably all places if we get a chance we'd want to go back to go back and mm -hmm. see um, and then the next day was sorry we working day <laughs> was working day so we did some the kids and I did some cleaning inside and Charlie um, had to work on the truck and then in the middle of working on the truck decided <laughs> let's just do more work and something broke so so I had to replace the rear brake pads the fuel filter well oh those, wait there's two fuel filters but hold on those were just that's required yeah. maintenance it's not like oh they broke it's just it's time to get new ones in we did an oil change with the oil filter and while I'm changing the fuel filter, the, the first filter. Did you turn it the wrong way? I, I might have turned it the wrong way. Something <laughs> happened, but you have to have this breaker bar and this huge, it has a pretty big, it's a plastic nut. It's built into the housing. So anyway, I'm twisting on it and it's tight. So I push harder and I have a breaker bar and it just snapped. And like, I'm sitting underneath this thing and like this water, or not water, but diesel Castle, fuel mm -hmm. is like gushing out. I'm like panicking. I think Bella was, was scout. next to me. No, scout scout. Was like, I'm like, go get mom, go get mom. And I'm, I'm trying to stick my thumb in this hole that's like this big to block the gas from gushing out. Um, but fortunately, Ford had built some kind of this anti-siphon thing, so only the gas that was in the, the filter housing uh, came out. You were the Dutch boy. I was the Dutch boy trying to hold in the water. <laughs> Unlike the brawny guy, if I was the brawny guy, I might have had you paper towels. You cleaned it up though, you could have cleaned it. I could have paper towels, it would have just soaked it he up. He said brawny. Yeah. You did. Yeah. The day we were there, you said I made it up. You made about it Oregon? Yes. So anyway, the cool part about the whole thing was, I mean, that sucked. It just so happened, again, in the kind of the middle of nowhere of Montana, I called up the Ford dealership in, I don't know, it wasn't Polson, but it was past. past Polson. And they actually had this plastic housing, one of them. So then I'm like, well, how am I going to get there? I asked them if they could deliver. They said, no, we had to check out the next day. So I just decided to go across the uh, it was like a st street or whatever. To the, that. It was just across our, whoop, yeah. the RV parked across from us. Yeah, and, and talked to the guy and I was just like, hey, I got to ask you a crazy question. But, you know, I just broke my truck and I need to go to the parts place. And like almost before I even stopped, he pulls the keys out of his pocket and just hands them to me. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Like, do you want to go with me or whatever? He's like, no, just take and do what you need to do. And Yeah, that was fever. Yeah, unbelievable. So <laughs> I went back and, you know, changed because I was smelling went back and said hey let me fill up the uh what's called the the gas tank for you at least he's like no don't do it just do what you need to do come back and whatever so i mean i think he slipped him some you slipped him some money yeah i mean i actually had saw he had a ten dollar bill kind of tucked away probably for tolls or whatever so i stuck another whatever in there um, speaking of yeah. smelly you're in he, all day long he's working on this truck and he had just gasoline all over him and he'd come and sit in the rv and it's 105 degrees so the ac's on and i'm just like it smells so thick of gasoline here, you need to depart. Oh my. Oh bug. no, but you've got a white and it's going <laughs> Sorry. Well, anyway, so I got the filter back on there and started up and everything was good. We have brakes that weren't squeaking. Like, I mean, unfortunately my brake pad was gone. So our brakes quit squeaking, kind of. New oil, new fuel filters, we're good to go. Yeah, no, that worked. And then the next day we left, didn't we? The next day we left, yep. Because I was kind of thinking we might end up having to stay an extra night, but we didn't have to. And we went into Helena, and Helena, we thought we but would be But before cool. we left to Helena, the kids started school. Oh. Yay! That day, and um, so Bella started eighth grade, Scout started fourth grade. Bella is on her fifth year of homeschool. This is Scout's first year of homeschool. They were both very excited. We've, yeah. So, um, yep, they started that day. They they're started, both crushing it so far. They're doing really great. They're doing really good. So yeah. we started a day, like the first two classes there, and then we did the rest in the car because we went on the to, way. it was, yeah, so, yeah, go, so we were gonna go to, Yeah, we decided, we were going to stop at a campground in Helena, but everything was expensive. 
And it's like, literally, because of how long it was going to take, we'd be in at like, who knows, six and be out the door the next morning at eight. And we just want to go and take a picture in front of the Capitol. Yeah, and it, but it was on the way to what's called too. So we decided we were going to try boondocking. I called up Walmart and said, hey, we're going to stop by. Is that okay? They said, sure. Just park over by the garden center, whatever. We drive. We're like, cool, yeah. Hey, this is going to be sweet. <laughs> we pulled into the parking lot and it was 106 degrees. I mean, I don't know what it was, but it was over 100 degrees. We, when we dropped it off, I was like gushing with sweat. That wasn't my first thing though. Yours was the heat. I was like, mama bear says no, yeah. we are not. <laughs> we are not. But we hadn't made family. a decision yet. So we, we dropped it off anyway. Like we were going to stay there. Yeah. And we went off, drove to the Capitol, got some food, drove to the Capitol, took the animals up, took some pictures, came back. You had on the way back. It. You mentioned it on, on the, the way, way there. To, yeah, you're right. It was we pulled out of the parking lot, and he said but because it was too hot, mainly. Yeah, he's and like, you were like, it's kind of sketch. Yeah, he says, why don't we just yeah. drive straight through? <laughs> so we kind of made the decision on the way there, came back, and so they had to the the rest of the family went and got groceries and stuff at Walmart, while I, you know, got the trailer hitched back up. And I met a guy who was actually on a four-month road trip. You met a guy. From, uh, he was from like Maryland or Massachusetts, one of those M ones on the East Coast. Delaware. That doesn't sound like that. Okay. <laughs> anyway. That is so the really cool. I mean, super nice guy. He was in IT and whatever. We talked about geeky stuff. And so he went and he was working on his truck. I got my stuff and I was sitting in the thing with the dog and the AC on. And a chicken. The family finally came back with their stuff. And so I had walked around the RV while they were loading up. And the guy who I was talking to was like running and out of breath. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? You know, just like he wanted to say bye or something before I'm left, so which was super awkward. <laughs> and he had a cart and he's like, that guy over there just pushed this cart and I just saved it from your RV. And you know, obviously I was thankful. This dude over in the background was Honk. like, just swearing away, walking around with this attitude, like, you know, and we're looking at him and he's looking at us like, you know, and I'm like, what the heck is your problem? I mean, I didn't say anything because anyone gets shot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he walked the whole way around he the was, parking lot. He was cussing or whatever, and we're like, yeah, well, we're, we were, we're totally, I mean, we're out of there anyway, but like that. Yeah, but even when we came back, the amount of people sitting in cars yeah, parked in the really back weird. of the parking lot by the RVs yeah. was a little weird. Yeah. And and then I, when I was bringing the groceries back, there was this minivan parked there, not even in a parking spot. They're just like, they pulled up a little bit right behind our RV. I think that's where that kid yeah, got out of. I think of. he's mad at them. And they're, it was just weird because they're all watching me unload the groceries into the RV. And all I could think of is, oh my gosh, they're going to come and attack yeah. me. So we did. We left. I thought, and we would have, it would have been too hot. And so we, so we was, went straight through. It was about four and a half hours from Big Arm into Helena. And we decided to bite the bullet. It was another four and a half, five, maybe more hours into uh, Hardin. Hardin, Montana. But we're like, it's worth it. I think we pulled into Hardin around 9.30 at yeah. night. But it was, um, yeah, it was, you it felt was safe. It. Yep. You didn't feel like, we did have the AC, yeah. So yeah, no, it was it was nice. The kids are good. That was a long day in the that car. Was, they did really but it's good. better than not knowing what would have happened in that park. Yeah, we may not be alive right now. We were watching movies the entire time. Yeah, you guys watch movies. We let and you guys just, stuff. yeah, we just let you guys do things. Dad so had the brilliant whatever. idea of getting their movies out. Dad had the brilliant idea of sleeping in a Walmart parking lot without. Yeah, that was like, both our ideas. No, it was yours. Like, why like, don't we do this? I said, fine, just check. I'm like, next time, see if it's a good neighborhood. How am I gonna know it's a Walmart? <laughs> but now, so now every time we drive by a Walmart, I'm like, oh, that's kind of yeah, a nice neighborhood. Yeah, every other Walmart we've passed since <laughs> then. It's been beautiful. Yeah, it's been like you know waterfalls, and <laughs> it's like this oasis over here, and it's just funny. I'm like, well, that like, would have been okay. Water park over here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So no, I just felt parenting decision like we could have done that to our kids I felt that could have been a call to social services yeah. how do we stay there but it the next day was Saturday because we left on we Friday. pulled into hard and yeah, yeah I don't so know the what next day, day was, was Saturday so we just um, so a little bit corn is well, real quick it was butt hot and Okay. Hard in Again, Montana. I don't even know what that means. There's no, there's not even a point to that. So don't even try to explain it because you're gonna come up with something gross because you're <laughs> a guy. So it was really hot. We weren't gonna go, but then we looked at the 
weather for the next day, which is when we were gonna go, and it was just as stinking hot. Yeah, so I think we were bored, so we're like, let's go. But we went. It was very. It was a very. Again, so it's not even busy. Could have been the time of day. Not. I don't know. It's not this huge place, but it was a very meaningful place because I didn't. I've always heard about Little Bighorn and Colonel or General Custer, and then now because of Night at the Museum Two, you know, now he's in there. So you hear all about this. But I honestly don't remember learning about it in high school and in all of my um, history lessons that my dad has given me over the course of my... It was very cool. We were there at a wonderful time of day because the sun was starting to go down, so everything was golden, yeah, which was it cool. Was crazy. So you got to see they had the mark where people fell. Like actually died. died. Like where, they, where they found the yep. bodies mm-hmm. is where they have these grave markers. So you look around and you see those white, like the what you see in military um, cemeteries mm-hmm. and stuff, like Fort Logan in Colorado. Yeah, they're it's smaller just, though. They're I mean, smaller, they're, but yeah. yeah, but they're just white. These white sc- markers scattered. spread all over the place. And then around um, the last stand hill, it's fenced in, but it's where all of they died. And then the- There's about 50 there. And the black one is uh, General Custer's. His, his three wife. brothers. Yes. A brother, a brother brother-in-law. In law, yeah. yeah, they were they all died in it as well. And then they had a marker for all the horses that died because we learned in the film that we watched that the men, the Americans, started shooting their horses in the head to kill them so they would drop and then they would use them as shields, mm-hmm. which is so sad. Um, you know, you get it, but they were in such a panic and they knew they were gonna die, but they were just trying everything they could. So that was sad, so they had a memorial for that. And then years after they, well, then they did a, um, a mass burial, which at the top of the hill, if you look at our picture, you just see you see this like tiny. It's big, but in the picture, it's tiny. It's like this mon this monument thing, and that's where the mass grave is. So underneath it is where they had put all the bodies because they went and dug them all up individually to put them in the mass grave and put this marker on it with all the names. Then across the street, there's a memorial. Then they have for the Indians. The warriors, so they started yeah. putting um, some of those up. So it was interesting. I thought, you know, what. That was a great history lesson. There weren't many Indians that had only died. like only sixty-four. Like, I was, thought I think it was less than that. But yeah. there were about three to four hundred, I think, uh, American soldiers who died. Yeah. And you, it's really, I mean, it's just weird because you're looking down from Last Stand Hill, and you look off in the distance, and you can see the canyon. I mean, you can't even imagine not ever being in war or anything even remotely like it. Like, I mean, what are you thinking on that hill? You know, you're. you're and then even that marine. Yeah, and he's talking about in Vietnam, they had something kind of, I mean, not the same, but a similar uh-huh. kind of experience. And it's just like, what are you thinking right then? It's like, you know, yeah. and especially those guys, it's like, I mean, either he was crazy and he thought he was still going to win, or, I mean, he knew that was the end. I mean, eventually he knew that was the end. And, you know, 100 people sitting on that hill, just, yeah. I don't know, just it's Sad. crazy. It's, it's a weird, really weird feeling you know, kind of interesting place to be. Huh. I was gonna say that Marine was really nice. He, yeah. he hiked up, what was it, Rainier nine times? Or like, not all the way to the top. Yeah, no, he, no, he, he skied, he skied he down. He skied all the volcanoes. I'm like, I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. And then he's like, well, I didn't do, I think he's like, well, I didn't do St. Helens because I hurt my hip going mountain biking. Well, no, that, was just, oh, that was so, this year. Yeah, that was this year. So it was like funny. He just lived his life. So he's, he's got his Marine hat on. So that's how, and we were, you know, talking, and he has a cane. So you just think, He's War. old, you know, and no, he hurt himself mountain or like biking. Yeah, like this year. So we heard his hip. He's like, you know, he said, did you have to get it replaced? And he's like, nah, you know. So, but he, yeah, he skied down all the volcanoes and stuff. But so I, it was just funny because yeah. he's probably, and he's, he's taking his daughter to New Chicago. York or Chicago yeah. from Seattle school. for school. So they were in an RV and stuff. And then they ended up staying at the same RV yeah. park as us, which is interesting. So, but that was, Montana was good. Another one to go back to. Some of them don't have any desire to go back to not like it was bad yeah. but there's we just saw. ones you want to yeah. you saw we came we saw we left been there done that yeah read the book the wore the video. t-shirt <laughs> so yeah uh, so montana was done it was good we want to go back see glacier again probably and whatever and uh yeah off to north dakota so are we are we off to north dakota we're actually in north dakota <laughs> Oh, no, don't do that. It's just, it's, his name is Animal from the Muppets. Yeah. He looks, ah. and then what happens when he comes out of the water? So he goes in the water, uh. right? He comes out, and I don't know what happens, but everything goes, <laughs> it's just like, it's like here's here, get wet. here's here. And I, I just have to look at him like, is that the guy I married? He just doesn't look like himself. So, yep. all right. All right. Well, there we go. Love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. We're out of here. Peace.